I mean, today we're talking about wines and people have discovered that in fact there is a lot of stuff going on and you don't have to be tied down by convention. Yeah, and that's that's what it's all about, really. So let's talk. We have this is a ten-year tawny. This is a ten-year-old tawny. Here, here's a great um, point of confusion. Uh, I know that a lot of people buy this and say, "Oh, this is a bottle of ten-year-old wine," mm. but this is going back to house style, just like the Founders Reserve has a house style. This is a style of wine that's I don't know if "designed" is the right word, but it's right. it's blended to resemble. A ten-year-old. Yeah, the, the, I think I think there you're taking what is the the, the legal definition. Okay, unlike uh, Scotch, when you say you know there's a twelve-year-old Scotch, it's a minimum age is twelve. You know, in port, if it says ten, it's the uh, average age is ten. So not every drop of that port is ten years old, but the average is and that means that while you might have wines that are nine years old you're also going to have wines in there that are 12 years old but, but the goal here of course is to have a consistent Style. product exactly you know, exactly th this is a blend yeah. and the, the and what you want is for somebody saying well this is delicious five years later i'm going to go back and uh buy another bottle and it's going to be delicious because it's very similar and that's that's what you're to, to, i think i think one has to understand that the, the difference in between tawnies and rubies here you know with with ruby port our objective is to keep the freshness with tawny ports our objective is to use oxygen to uh, aeration to create this uh this style which is a little bit more uh, evolved i don't know if you can uh, see but tawny i mean the, the color is definitely it turns tawny. tawny. Exactly. This is a ten-year I mean, tawny, so it's still pretty. It's, still it's pretty great. It's got touches of ruby in it. I mean, you 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 start in the ten-year-old, you start to get the amber colors and the yellow coming through, but it's still got a lot of red amber in it. When we get to the others, when we get to the twenty-year-old, you'll find that all that amber has now gone from red into yellow and gold. So you sh you can see the age and the way that the wine is moving forward and the complexity too. I mean, whereas in ruby ports you got all this sort of fresh, plummy, strawberry characteristics in here, uh, red cherry, all of these things. In tawny ports you have dried fruit, almonds, uh, raisins coming through, a little bit of vanilla, much more complex. Lighter in color, but much, much more structured. I, and I find it lighter, a little lighter in body, without all that fruit. It, this is silky compared to the velvety valve. It is, but I'm going to tell you something. I mean, and this I think is the way to, to, to see the strength of the wine. If you were to, to eat, I mean, if you were to drink this with a Roquefort cheese, or a cheese similar to Roquefort, which is a very strong, powerful uh, blue cheese, lots of salt in it, and very tough on wine, this wine will stand right up to that. Okay. Whereas if you were to have what looks like a more powerful wine, a full-bodied ruby port, it really? would kill. It would kill the ruby port. That's fascinating. And it's. I mean, these wines look delicate, but they're they're massively well structured. So a lot of this has to do with balance, because for me, balanced Again, wine balance. can make can make a wine seem deceptively light and elegant when it really is rich and powerful. It's a it's a like I said, beautiful wine. This for me is, is silky. More, yeah. And it has a lot of depth and complexity. It's very aromatic in the mouth. Very full, very, I mean, still quite full bodied, you know, uh, but you you see very evidently, you see that the, the change in the character of the wine between, I mean, for instance, the, 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 the Val Vintage, uh, which is, you know, it's from 2000. Age as a ruby port, which aged is in bottle. About the same About the same age. age Whereas here, aged in small barrels, 500 liter barrels, racked off once a year, you know, so a lot of aeration going on, a lot of controlled oxidation. Which that's and the, and that's, that's the key, that's the key. And yet, you can see the difference in the style here, I mean, is it, uh, in, in, in the flavors of the wine. One, full bodied, another, more delicate, uh, but much more structured uh, in wine. Great wines. It is a great wine, and this again is made the same way as uh, the the Founders Reserve and the Val Vintage. It's a fortified wine. We had a question from somebody late arriving. Um, the wines are fortified with grape spirits, which once upon a time were referred to as brandy, but it's just it's more grape alcohol. Stops the fermentation. It's absolutely. Leaves the sugar. Seventy-seven percent alcohol. Seventy-seven percent alcohol. Yeah, 